You're different, Jemima. Published by Empowering Resources. Jemima tried so hard to please her teacher, Mrs. Smith. It felt like she couldn't do anything right. At the end of every day, she hoped tomorrow would be different and Mrs. Smith would be pleased with her. One morning, Jemima's class had reading. Jemima chose a book about a magical unicorn that lived in a fairy kingdom. She asked Mrs. Smith what unicorns eat. Her teacher answered, just stick to reading the words on the page, please. Jemima did as she was told. Before lunch, the class had music. Jemima sung with gusto. She took pride in singing her favourite songs, All Things Bright and Beautiful, in a strong, joyful voice. Mrs Smith frowned and told her to sing quietly. Jemima whispered the rest of the song. Gymnastics class was after lunch. Jemima loved gymnastics. She twisted and turned and made amazing shapes with her body. She flipped and balanced and finished with a dramatic flourish. Mrs. Smith shook her head. She told Jemima, you must point your toes. That's what we're learning today. She told the class if they all mastered this skill, they would try a forward roll next week. Jemima copied what everyone else was doing. It felt like she couldn't do anything right. The last lesson of the day was art. One more chance to impress Mrs Smith. Everyone in the class was given a picture of a duck to colour in. Jemima used every coloured pencil she could find. She added spots and stripes and stars and zigzags. She coloured inside the lines and outside the lines. Lastly, she drew a sun hat on her duck's head. When she couldn't squeeze any more shapes and colours onto her paper, Jemima took it up to Mrs Smith. The teacher stared at Jemima's artwork. Ducks are yellow, she said blankly. On her way back to the desk, Jemima saw Sally's duck. It was neat and had yellow feathers. Sally saw Jemima's duck and laughed. You're different, Sally snorted. The next day, Jemima decided she would try very hard not to be different. Hopefully she would impress Mrs Smith. But when Jemima walked into the classroom, it wasn't Mrs Smith she saw. Mrs Chuckles was teaching them today. Mrs Chuckles made up a story about a mysterious forest. She said that some of the best stories were in our heads. We just had to discover them. Jemima discovered plenty of stories that morning. Mrs Chuckles listened to every one of them. 
Mrs. Chuckles sang loudly during music. She encouraged the whole class to sing loud and proud. Music is a way to express ourselves, she said. Jemima filled her lungs with air and sang like she'd never sung before. It felt wonderful. Mrs. Chuckles smiled. In gymnastics, Mrs. Chuckles asked them to make up their own routines. Jemima twisted her body into all sorts of shapes. She finished with a tumble, a roll and a dramatic flourish. Mrs. Chuckles clapped and cheered. For art, Mrs. Chuckles laid out all the craft supplies she could find. She invited the class to create something spectacular. Jemima piled her paper with soft felt, bumpy cardboard, fluffy feathers and crinkly foil. She drizzled on the glue and called it Rainbow Sky. She felt happy and was about to show Mrs Chuckles her picture. But then she saw Sally colouring in a yellow duck. Jemima put her picture aside and reached for a yellow pencil. Wow, what a masterpiece! Mrs Chuckles was holding Rainbow Sky, even though it was still sticky. This is so original, Jemima, she beamed Mrs Chuckles. For some reason, everyone else has drawn yellow ducks, but your picture is different. That makes it special. That night, Jemima's mum asked about her day. Jemima smiled. It had been such a wonderful day. Different, Jemima replied. It was very different. 